Oh, see all my babies, boys and girls, and everyone in between. I hope you all are feeling chill, goujon, osta. I'm feeling fucking awesome. Getting out early, doing what the hell I gotta do. Head back, jump in the freaking ocean blue. I'm a poet and a know it, and sometimes I show it. So, this is a real quick vlog. I say that now, but it might get to like 11 minutes. <laughs> no, no, this is seriously freaking short. Like, I want to touch back on two things. I left you guys hanging uh, when I told you that in the, 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 the freaking sex vlog, that there was a time when I couldn't get it up. And I guess this is a good time to let you know that this vlog is age restricted. I think it was like in the early 2000s, but what it was is I was chasing this freaking guy and I don't chase guys. I don't, I don't chase anyone, you know what I mean? If they come to me, they come to me. If we meet up halfway, freaking awesome. But I don't go chasing anybody for nothing. So there was this guy though, man, like he was so fucking delicious. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. I kept hitting him up like, yo, let me take care of you, baby. Like, let me, let, let me do what the hell I freaking do, yo. Open up your hairy legs, watch out, here I come. And like, he's just like, no, 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 not interested. And I kept pushing fucking year after year after year after year. And then all of a sudden, one year in, I think it was like 2004, or 2005 maybe, um, <laughs> we're hanging out and I said, yo, let me tap that ass, yo. And he goes, okay. So I was like, you got a condom? Like the asshole that I am, never bringing condoms with me, always expecting the people I'm fucking to carry them with them, right? Terrible, like I said, freaking terrible. You're horrible, horrible, all of you. So he's like, yeah, I got one. He goes to get it. And the whole time since he freaking left to retrieve it, I couldn't fucking get it up. I couldn't get hard. Nothing. Nothing. Like there was like a severe freaking mental block. All that talk about impotence, it got to me. You know, I was like, what the hell? He's like, you want me to fluff you? I said, you know what? I would love that, but I knew regardless of him fluffing me, it wouldn't fucking work. And um, that's the one that got away. That's the one that got away. I mean, like, we're still friends, you know what I mean? Like, we, you know, like, we're still in contact and stuff, but that moment came and went. So are you coming or going? Or coming and then going? Or coming and staying? So the second thing that I wanted to talk about was uh, a long, long time ago, when I first started vlogging, within that first year, I did a vlog called My Anger! I want to talk about this just because I've only recently discussed this with my therapist, and I like to freaking dive into those fucking dark corners of my psyche and scrape the shit! Damn shit! Look at this shit! In those corners, that refuse to be freaking mended, refuse to be healed, right? Because I don't want to be that fucking inept Kainoa. I just want to be this Kainoa who is just all about love and support and positivity and motivation. You know what I mean? I want, I want, that's what I want to fucking be! The old me! He don't live here no more. <laughs> the old angry fucking sour bitch. He ain't here no more. This is part of the Kainoa that you guys don't even freaking know, yo. So. Anyways, I was court ordered to go to anger management. Why? Well, let me refresh you. Shortly after I moved to Cali, and this is Chino, I was still underage, I was still 17 years old, and my uncle, he, uh, he took care of me, you know what I mean? Like, he, he said, yeah, you come, come stay with me, uh, go to school, get a job, whatever the hell it is, but get yourself square. And I was like, okay, cool. I met this guy, we became good friends, and then uh, I made friends with his friends, and they tell two friends, and they tell their friends, and so on, and so on, and so on. So, like one day, we decided to catch a freaking bus out to Hollywood to go see freaking Hollywood, Beverly Hills, all that shit. When I got there to the freaking bus stop, I saw this taller guy there. 
and remind you at this time this was before the motorcycle accident so i was like fucking five foot six i was a short fucking dude man so this guy just started blasting me with these insults man like they were unwarranted i didn't do shit to this guy never fucking saw this guy before my freaking life right i freaking did a lunging punch square into his face <laughs> and I'm not I don't know why I'm laughing I think the laugh is humility okay it's not laughing because I knocked this guy out okay because what ensued afterwards is nothing to freaking laugh at once he was knocked out his cousin my friend who I was friends with before and his friends and they tell two friends and they tell their friends and so on and so on and so on they fucking bolted because there was like no like there was no talking to me. There's no getting through to me. Like, there's no way that you can argue with a tiger. There's no way that you can argue with a great white shark. So I had, like, that look in my eyes, I suppose. You know what I mean? Like, just that dead death look. And, like, I had completely blacked out. And I didn't freaking come to when I, I was, like, this guy was unconscious for, like, close to a minute, if not over a minute. I had his blood up to my fucking elbows. After that happened, I just fucking left the guy there, man. He was a kid, he probably didn't know what he was doing. You ran away? And that afternoon, the cops came to my uncle's door, and my uncle never ever heard this guy raise his voice to me in my freaking entire life. Hello! I was like, oh shit. I, I was taking a nap too. That shit woke me out of a solid fucking sleep, yo. But he called me out and he's like, what the hell did you do, boy? And uh, so it was my first offense. I had to go to freaking court. I had to go stand before a freaking judge. And uh, they court ordered me for half a fucking year of anger management. I don't even want to look at you anymore. All these years of friendship and you're, you're, you're nothing but a felon. I also had to do some uh, community service, you know, like freaking sweep and rake shit, uh, like paint over graffiti and stuff. So I did that. And then there came a point where I started like realizing that, you know, there's nothing that anger management can teach you that you can't teach yourself. Okay, but you have to be open and willing to listen to yourself, you know what I mean? So I went up to my counselor just before it started and I was like, um, hey, I just wanna let you know, like I've kind of made a breakthrough. He's like, talk to me about it. And we were standing on the outside, you know, before it started. And uh, he's like, share with me. I said, I realize that I don't have an anger problem. He's like, huh. I said, I have a people problem. And he thought that I was joking with him He's like, <laughs> no. He said, you're court ordered, man. And he's like, if I see fit, I can freaking give you more freaking, you know, time, which he did. I, I was in anger management for over a freaking year, right? I, I mean, just for up to a freaking year. And it extended to over a year because what happened was when I moved from freaking Chino to LA, the, the court caught up with me. And they're like, hey, you didn't tell us that you were moving. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm moving here. I gave them my freaking address. So they ended up coming to my apartment. Of course, you know, they're not gonna call you and say, hey, we're coming over, clean up and hide your freaking crap, right? Not that I had anything to hide, but. All right, you go ahead. You go ahead, you keep it secret. What happened was like two or three weeks previous to them popping in, I had gone to uh, Sacramento because they had a gun show there. And I, I just love going to gun shows, okay? Like, I'm, I'm not really like into guns and stuff. Do you understand what you just said? Because I've seen what the hell freaking guns do, you know what I mean? Like, the damage that they do. I've always been, you know, like, these are my weapons, okay? This is my weapon. This is my rifle, this is my gun! This is for fun, this is for fun! They're just looking around and stuff, and then all of a sudden he says, do you have any weapons? And I was like, oh, yeah. Holy shit. Ugh. Um, I actually 
just bought a gun from a gun show in Sacramento. The guy says, where is it? I said, oh, it's in my drawer right there, you know? He goes in there and he freaking opens it up. He grabs a gun. I never loaded it. It was still inside of his wooden case with a beautiful like indigo velour, crushed velour. And uh, he goes, Kainoa, while you're on anger management, you are not supposed to have weapons. You're not supposed to purchase weapons, especially a gun. I said, I didn't buy the gun to go and actively hurt someone. I said, I live in LA now. I said, that'll never, I say that'll never. Man, fucking LA is crazy. Like you go back to fucking LA in the fucking late 80s and the, into the freaking 90s. It was fucking mayhem. I mean, it's mayhem now with Skid Row and everything. So because of that, I had extended court ordered anger management and I also had to do more community service because it was an offense. That's it. That's all I wanted to like touch base with you all on is just, you know, these bits of loose ends. So as always, I want to thank you all so very much for the continued love and support to my vlog, my YouTube channel, with the likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the interactions, and the Patreon pledges. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, for those of you who do not know that I have actually given away one of five signed limited edition photo prints, go check out the details in the description, the information, and the rules. Take it! It's yours! Thank you all so very much. I hear eh, wado. Take care, much love. Shitana Zoni, Njuko Nanda. Until I see you all again, Donald Dog, Ohai. Peace, Kananamus, babies.